Hello and thank you for watching. I'm Ashley Van Dyke with Advantage Software, and on today's video, Number Conversion, Custom Number Templates, I'm going to show you how you can create and use customized number templates that will automatically format a series of numbers. Custom Number Templates in Eclipse allow you to create a customized series of numbers and characters that you can use to automatically format numbers in the future. In this video, I'm going to cover just the basics of creating a custom number template, but there are many additional options that we'll cover in future videos. To create a custom number template, go to your user settings and to the numbers tab. In the bottom right, you'll see that there's a templates box. At the top is a box that you can type into, and then underneath is a list of all of the existing custom number templates. Now, some of these templates are already in use. Eclipse uses zero for dates, one for bullet calibers, two for heights, and 10 for phone numbers. These shouldn't be removed. However, if you did want your date trigger to use hyphens instead of slashes, you can always update that here. And the same thing goes for the phone number. If you want an extra space somewhere, or you want to remove the parentheses, you can do that. But note that Eclipse is going to continue to assume that 0, 1, 2, and 10 are available and ready to be used for their intended purposes, which again are date, caliber, height, and then phone number. And so to create a new custom number template, I'm going to use slot number three since that's the first available custom template. And so I'm going to type in a pound sign and then I'll follow it with a space, two more pound signs for two more digits, a period, hyphen, three more pound signs, and next I'm going to do three more pound signs, each surrounded by their own set of parentheses. And so now I have a total of 11 digits represented in this number template and I can use it to automatically format those digits in the manner I've specified here. So I'll press OK, and I have a note file prepared that is going to use this number trigger. And so here, right at the beginning, I have a series of 11 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And preceding this, I've written a shortcut for the word section, and I've defined this as a conflict. And so this is going to be backslash, which is underneath the backspace, section in lowercase, followed by backslash, and then section with a capitalized letter. Next, for the trigger, I'm going to type in open curly bracket, pound sign, and then three, and close curly bracket. And this represents slot number three, where I put my custom number template. And so that's going to tell it that whenever the word section is mentioned by itself, it's going to give me lowercase section. But whenever it's followed by a series of numbers, it's going to format those numbers as I specified in my number template. Down here, I have the same series of numbers once again. There's 11 digits. And this time, I followed it by an alternate of that brief stroke with an asterisk in it. And this one I've defined as open curly bracket, pound sign, three, close curly bracket. The only thing that this entry is going to do is format numbers that precede or follow it in the manner specified. So it won't add any additional text. Now I'm going to translate this file. And in this file, we see that the first series of numbers didn't format because the conflict hasn't yet been trained. So I'm going to select option number two. But down here, we see that where the number trigger was used, it automatically formatted the first time and it will work every time. And so I have a number format here that matches the number template that I put into the system. And so now that I've selected the conflict choice for this one, I'm going to retranslate the file once more. And now we see in this translation, after having only been selected once, that conflict was now automatically selected and the numbers following it were formatted. And the area where I use the number trigger is still working exactly correctly. And if we look again at the numbers tab and look at the trigger, we see that this formatting matches exactly what I typed in here. 
And what we can also do is where it says digits equals, I can set this to 11. And if there's nothing else that 11 digit numbers would ever or typically be for me, I can select the drop down list and set this to user number three. So that way, anytime it sees a series of numbers, it will automatically format them. Okay, so here I've expanded my note file just a little bit and I have the same series of numbers, but I don't have anything that will trigger them in the notes. I'm going to rely on the digits equals formatting to auto format this third entry. And so now we see that each and every example of these 11 digit numbers were formatted as I specified. And this last one was formatted only because in the numbers tab, I set my 11 digits equals setting to user three, which is the same template number that I used here and is the same one that I've used in this dictionary definition to work as a standalone trigger next to a series of numbers, as well as this dictionary definition, which is a conflict with the word section. Custom number templates are incredibly powerful and you can use them to meet many needs to make sure that you're getting the right number formatting the first time and every time. Don't forget that Advantage Software offers anytime support. Tech support can be reached with any question, anytime, including weekends and holidays, at 772-288-3266. Email support is also available at support at eclipsecat.com.